Hi everyone, this is the Duke Parenting Podcast. My name is Brian Suleiman. And my name is Linda Ijafo Suleiman. And we have our friends here. Woo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, that's why they're here. Welcome. Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of the Dew Parenting Podcast. My name is Ibrahim. This is Linda. And we have two very fine people, <laughs> very talented people, and very not okay people. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was going so well. That was really going so well, you know? Now, yes, we know that we usually bring, you know, our friends who are couples or who are married. They're, they're not married. Calm down. Sell down. They're not married to each other. I don't know if they're married to other people, <laughs> but they're not married to each other. But they're here because they have tackled us, you know, when we've either met at work or... You, okay, let me just mm-hmm. say this thing. So we went for a premiere, um... And while we're at the premiere, you know how everybody's always asking, oh, how, how, where's Keon? Mm. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. We've not seen you because I, we had not gone out for a while mm. for events. So Elozunam was the first person that asked me a different question. He didn't ask, he asked, how is Keon? Mm. But he's, he, the next question was, how are you doing it financially? <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes, ding, ding, ding. I'm like, Hmm. That is a good topic <laughs> to have. I told him, I'm like, hello, Sarah, would you like to come on our podcast? <laughs> because I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> so that then Beverly has always been my baby girl. And she loves kids. She's always talking about how she loves kids, how she wants to get married. And we are always talking about it. And I'm always praying for her that she will find a an amazing man that would love her because she's amazing. <laughs> That would love her. And she, yeah, she was sitting with Elos and I'm that on the same, like. We were the same. Um, it's funny yeah. that they are all together. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. You're no. 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 so, we sitting on the table. So while we're talking about it, and I asked if they would love to come on the podcast and they said yes. And it was a no brainer. Yeah. I would love to have them on the podcast so that they would ask us all the questions because they want today, to ask us. Um, we're not asking the questions; they are asking us the questions. <coughs> so, so welcome, guys, to the Do Podcast. My uh-huh. name is Elus. I'm your host for today. They are the presenters. <laughs> my name is Beverly. Also, <laughs> so parents, <laughs> oh, wow, Mama, Papa, Kion. <laughs> Since that time I asked you that question, mm-hmm. I'm sure because of the economy and because of time, mm-hmm. how much, <laughs> <laughs> brother? First of all, if we Put a so one thing we do not do is check how much we have spent because we'll be depressed. It will depress you. Oh, eh, okay. So that was. Let me just put it out there. But we can tell you that it has gotten worse. It it is how many percent? Almost a hundred percent for certain things, either services, items. My heart is <laughs> like, like if this is your campaign to get to get me to have kids. <laughs> That's true. We're, we're the marketing, the no, 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 no. oh my god. Okay, here's the good. He will tell you. Do you want us to tell the truth? Or oh, the truth, truth now. Yes, obviously the good and the bad. Truth. But first of all, it's like the, the, the okay, cost so because I know for a fact that it, a lot of things have risen, have yeah. always been expensive, yeah. and are now more expensive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's scary. It it. So here's the here's the good news. Mm. The good news is the fact that one, neither of you is lazy. You understand? Okay. Both of you are very hardworking. <laughs> so in in our three years of experience, I can tell you categorically that you see that thing that they say about, oh, when you have a child, some doors open. That yes. It does. It is a fact. It does. Now, your role at that point, your duty at that point is to make sure that once you get into those rooms that those doors open to, you don't slack. Because you can very easily be shown, you know, and then you understand. You're Once you get into those rooms, Baba, the hard work that got you to those doors will keep you there. Yeah. So because you are naturally hardworking, passionate, dedicated, and great at what you do, it would only get better. However, comma, <laughs> the money that you're making, it's just, it's just, it will go to a good cause. 
Because you will be spending. <laughs> and the good cause is your baby. <laughs> no, 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 by Brazilian <laughs> yeah. You will prioritize. By dear. And by pampas. You will buy pampas. <laughs> See, pampas and wipes, they will wipe. <laughs> they will wipe the finances. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Bro, they will wipe your finances. But as my mom would say, God will not give you something, something you, you, can't, you can't, can't handle. handle. Yeah. yeah. If He gives you a child and you have to take care of that child, just remember that okay. the finances to take care of that child will, will come, come along. Yeah, come along. It okay. will come. All right. Well, that gives me some kind of glimmer of hope. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, the truth <laughs> of the matter is, you, your partner by God's grace, will be an actual partner. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's that amen as well. to yeah. that. There's amen. that as well, man. Yeah. You know so I, saw, I, saw, I saw a video recently of someone who was talking about how, oh, one of our friends, one of our colleagues, and she was talking about how, you know, they split bills. And there was this whole brouhaha on Twitter about how, no, you can't be splitting bills with your husband, blah, 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 blah. Fam, it's reality. You will split bills. Yeah. No matter how, no matter how wealthy you are, if you're married to someone who is your partner, she wouldn't just want to sit down and let you do it. Yes. I yeah. don't, I don't that's think the entire point of partnering, yeah. right? That's the point. Yes. By, by definition, that that's is the what point. it is. Yeah. Make life generally so, easier for each other. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Don't, 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 don't sweat it too much. Don't sweat it too much. Just, you know, so do the do. So like now, Speak I can't just be a, a trophy wife. <laughs> so so you, you, can, you can, know. You can. As, as you deserve to be. <laughs> but because... You are you. You detest being idle. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. You will. You're a business woman, man, Bev. Yeah. You know, go I'm, on to him like that. Mm. Yes, I know. Okay, so <clears throat> <laughs> we have moved from the finances, mm-hmm. right? So time management. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time management. Let's just say it would. You pick and choose mm. Mm. which is more important, which you can let go and which you can't let go mm. of. Um, so far, with Ibra and I, we I knew that after giving after um, Kion was born, four months after, four four months before I went back to I was with Kion. Mm. So that period, Ibra was working. Mm-hmm. He was one bringing the money into the family. I wasn't, so I was always at home taking care of him breastfeeding. Thankfully, I didn't do exclusive. Mm. So I could go back to work four months after. I'm so sorry. What's exclusive? Exactly. What's oh, exclusive? Oh, I'm sorry. Like, don't be talking like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Is that starter pack? Is it? Like, what's exclusive? What's that? Exclusive? I love it. Not exclusive. <laughs> okay. <What's the laughs> I'm so sorry. Exclusive breastfeeding. Oh. Exclusive breastfeeding is when you just breastfeed alone. No, no without water. Formula, without formula, formula, no formula, no water, nothing. nothing. But you can pump into that stuff. And mm. Yes. But, okay. But it's just, Breast milk alone. Mm. They, he can't take formula or she can't take formula. Even can't. water, they can't they Oh, can't me, take I gave water. I gave, I gave huh. formula. I gave every. Because <laughs> so, you can't be So <laughs> when is the best time or the, the exclusive, right? Mm. The duration in so, which a child should stop breast milk or... It's, it depends it on you. It, yeah, it varies though. From the... Uh, uh, it varies. Different mothers, different plans, different babies. Mm-hmm. There are some babies People that tell would, you minimum six months. Yeah, minimum six months, maximum one year, two years. Mm. Two years. Yes, a little breastfeed for two years. I know someone yeah, that breastfed on child more intelligent or something. So builds up the child's immunity. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. actually does. The, the studies show that it makes them more. You know, it completes <laughs> their brain <laughs> the, growth. Apparently, but. I don't see it like that. Because yeah, my mother did not do exclusive. And if you say you it, drank, if you say, are, are you <laughs> sure? Well, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe that ex- kind of explains a few things. I hate you. Don't you think, Linda? <laughs> I agree. I agree. No, my, maybe my, she should have. My Chris, Ibrahim. My Chris is, is, it was passed via body fluids because <laughs> everybody knows that before I married this gay, I was proper. You, were, I was, you, know, I was, you, know, you understand? Uh, I was brother Captain Quest. Baby. You know, Baby, you Baby. Know? Mm? like defend me. Baby, <laughs> tell the truth. Defend you know that Yoma has been mad. Oh my god, Since. has been mad. <laughs> you know, like I feel like both of you are really like a match made in heaven because you guys compliment your Chris. Yeah, you're, you're a politician. You're a very bad guy. <laughs> I'm a Libra. I'm diplomatic. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. Welcome. Uh, okay. Anyway, so you uh, oh. the breast milk thing. So it varies. There are some kids that would start breast milk and would not want breast milk anymore. Mm. Stop. <laughs> to the mic, to the mic. I pray my kids don't want 
<laughs> so there are some kids that would want to go on and go on mm. and go on on that breast. Until you oh. say no. Until it's okay. you say no. Even past two. Yeah. It'd be like, and there are some kids that would be like, okay, let me pity you. Which was Keon. Breast milk. My guy that. just wanted food. So he mm-hmm. Look, he used to, like, you know that baby grip thing is, is real. Yeah. If they grab something, Baba, beg. <laughs> just beg. <laughs> Keon will grab your, you just dip his hand in your plate and grab whatever it is there, that's there and just shove it in his face. So we just knew that, okay, this man was ready. And, you know, thankfully. So, so he cut down the expenses. Time. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So four months, I, I now went back to work and started working. Then when I got into work full time, we sat down and we had a conversation. Like, I have a job. Who is going to stay back? And we make sure that one of us is always at home with the mm-hmm. nanny and not sleep outside the house to yeah. watch Keon. And if we both have to be out of the house, a family member was always at, mm-hmm. at home. Okay. Either yeah. my mom or my sister. Shout out if to it my, was, sis- my, my, my sisters. Sis- yeah. Life. Either my mom. <laughs> great, great girls. Ah, they helped too. Because grandma just spent how many weeks with us? Two weeks. Two weeks. I ran back to her boyfriend. She not do a book of very well. <laughs> my dear. <laughs> See, my father-in-law was like, Liz, I want my wife back. He literally told me once, okay, so. Be, be. <laughs> wow. So when Keon was, before Keon was born, when it was almost time. Um, my mom and my dad chased my younger sister, she didn't want to come and stay with me. Live with us. And then, Chinyere she now started working remotely, right? So sometimes she would just come over and spend like a week. Then Keon was born and then Chinyere moved in full time. Then grandma came for Mugo. So at that point, there were four, it was four women in my house. <laughs> One day, grandpa calls me because we, he, 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 speaks, he speaks better house than I do. So he asks me, that, how am I doing? I said, I'm fine. He said, of course you're fine. Yes, of course. I said, I, said, ah, daddy, I don't understand. He said, ah, how would you be fine? <laughs> oh, you're part of it. He said, you came and asked for one. <laughs> now you have three extra. We gave you. We now even say, okay, let's pity you and say, okay, I don't know I should help you. You now came and carried the two that I had remaining. <laughs> I don't have one single one in my life, in my house. I said, that is not like that. He said, don't worry. I'll call you back. Let me call the person that should call. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> call. Ah, he called my mother. My mother just packed that. Thing. I said, I'm going to my husband. And wow. I called him. I was like, daddy, mommy has left to say, ah, what happened? I said, wow. Yeah. He now pretended as if he did not know what was happening. I'm like, I was frustrated. <laughs> I was, I was, I was mad and frustrated. Then when they were not asked for pictures, I said, what pictures? Come and come, come and see your me. grandchild. Come, come and see me. Why would I send you pictures? So yeah, so we, so it depends on um, how important the project is, especially if it's, the money is plenty and the money is good mm. and we both have to do it. Then grandma will come. Yeah. And um, so you would find a way. And then finding time for each other is tougher than, you know, than we anticipated. So you have to make an effort. It is so it's intentional about it. You, might, you have to be intentional about <clears throat> it because it's so easy. It's you so, especially for women, yeah. it is so easy to forget your husband, your first baby yes. and focus on your actual baby. Mm. So you don't want that to be um, what would cost a, cost a rift, yeah, between, rift. rift between you and your husband. You have to be very intentional. If Even if your husband forgets, which sometimes him him to him be like, you know what, she's focusing on the baby. Let me just always remember to say, oh, babe, baby, when are we going for date night? When are we just having time to ourselves? So even if the even if it's just to spend time in the room alone and just carry the baby and go and give it to Nani, we're do, alone. Do it. So we have a TV in our room. We which we just... wish we swore that we're not going to do. Actually, he swore he wasn't going to do. Yeah. Intellectual much. <laughs> 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 because we, 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 you know, I had learned, I'd been told rather that if you have a TV in your bedroom, conversations will dwindle over time. Because oh. you guys now end up spending more time staring at the screen than actually and staring at each other. And talking. talking in your bedroom. But then because Oga has taken over the living, the TV downstairs, has taken over the TV in the living room upstairs, so the little TV, yeah, Keon goes around the house picking With up remotes. Tab and phones. He will hold his tab. Oh. Your, phone, he your the, phone is playing something else. This TV is playing something else. Yeah. And then if he <laughs> hears that the TV upstairs, Tech bro. Someone else Tech has, bro. something else has started playing there, he would go back upstairs, take the remote, change it back to what he wants to be playing there, then go back downstairs. And he sinks, he casts his tab to the TV screen. I found out how to do it because he did it in front of me. What? Yeah. I didn't know how to do it. So be scared of your children already. Just know this, that this they will shock gen you. Alpha. <laughs> they will do things that make gen you go alpha. alpha. 
That's what they are called. <clears throat> so yeah, so we have a TV in our room, and that was after Kion was born, so that we at, at least, least we have watch time to stuff. Netflix and chill. Yeah, so we started doing that upstairs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but mm. hello, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Mm. I will tell you categorically that okay. So after after the baby arrives, right? There are six weeks during which they advise. No, they don't advise. They instruct you not to touch your woman. Don't do it. Fuck. No me yes. No, no me Nothing. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. After that, for a lot of men, it's a bit traumatic to do it again, especially if you were there when the child was being born and you saw everything. So for me, I wasn't there because I was five minutes late because I was coming from work. Well, because but, I did a CS. So she had, you know, so it took a little longer. And then by the time she, she was ready to go again, I was still traumatized. She literally asked me, my friend, come on, come here. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> God, I can tell you categories. <laughs> I can tell, <laughs> bruv. So a lot of people worry that, oh, you know, after she's had a baby, blah, blah, blah. One, give your woman time. You understand? Yeah. Because a lot of the time, she doesn't feel attractive. You understand? Body has changed. Her body has changed. So she feels like you're no longer attracted to her because she's not even attracted to herself. She I doesn't feel attracted. I remember I saw a video of you. I'm not going to cast you too much. <laughs> <laughs> where, where you were like, Ah, fam. Like the big belly. Ah, you don't know how your body they do, do you. Like, you, would, you, would, you would not. Even oh understand. yes, I remember that video. I was wearing bra and uh, shorts. Oh, yeah. I know that. And video. the tummy was just, That's... and I was just <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, I can't sit down. You can't I can't stand. stand. I'm like, especially when it's close to you know the um, due date. Anywho, once you get past the point where you you now have to convince her that you're still attracted to her. You have to convince. You have to convince her. her. You have to. Can let you her say know. that again, so that the men we know. Men, the men at the back are here. So yes. for the men, for the men in the back, please. After your wife has given you the baby that you so desired, right? You have to remember that she doesn't find herself attractive. She doesn't think she's attractive anymore. Baba, you have to do the work to you have convince to toast her. Her again. Toast her again. Now, once you toast her again and she gets her confidence back, you see all the exciting things you used to do before the baby arrived. It gets better. Oh yes! Oh. it gets better. So that thing you do with the tongue and the Fam? and the acrobatics and everything. Now I subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> now I subscribe. Got it. Yeah, it gets better. Just, just get that confidence back up and boom. Because at that time, her body has changed. There's a the softer. There's, yes, it's, it's stop it. <laughs> you want us to shut? Let's. <clears throat> do you guys need a minute? Can I talk to you outside? Do you need a minute? So yes, Tell so it's, it's one of the things to look forward to. Okay, so <clears throat> I, I guess I'm the one that has... <clears throat> one question. Ask me. As a man. Well, I'm here for you, brother. So um, marriage for me, one of, the, one, of the, one of the issues with marriage for me or, or commitment, you know, is that whole cohabitating or cohabit, mm. you know. I'm the kind of person that likes... I, I, I take people in bits... Right. I, even if I really, 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 really like you and I, I bring you to my personal space for a bit, like maybe two, three days at a time, at some point I'll start getting antsy. Like, give me space, give me space, give me space. I, yeah, just, and if the longer you stay, the longer I will not see you after you leave. <laughs> That's just me. I love it. <clears throat> so, wow. I don't know how I'm going to tackle. Mm. So, how do you guys do it? Because I'm pretty sure that to see each other every time and everything, at some point, mm. you know, you guys would need some space from each other. And I guess that's where sometimes maybe work comes in. Mm-hmm. You know, you guys take different some time jobs. Up, different jobs, mm-hmm. take some time apart and miss each other and then come back and da, 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 da. But like, you, know, you, guys, you guys don't do a nine to five. So mm-hmm. the work comes when the work comes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sometimes yeah, there's we, downtime. We, 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 we kind of do a nine to five. Okay. Tinsel. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, okay, 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 okay. okay, 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 so, okay. To be fair, to be fair. So, most of the time, most weeks, um, and those, okay, let me, let me put it like this. On Tinsel, I tend to shoot twice a week, oh, three sometimes times. three times a week, or on average, twice a week. And then there are periods when maybe um, I'm filming another project, so I give them a two-week notice and then they give me you know time off to go shoot whatever. So there's that. Then there's also the fact that same applies to her. But the, 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 the important bit is the fact that she likes her personal space. I like my personal space. So we have 
figured out how to be in the same space but not be in each other's space. So there are yeah. times when I'm painting on my tab or my iPad and she is editing something or she's reading something. I might be downstairs, she's upstairs. We're in the same house, but then I pick up my phone and then I'll send her a message. How far are you? You good? And then she's like, oh, I need you to check this out. And she sent it to me. Then I'm like, mm, the timing is off. Then I send. So we do that. So there are days that if we're both at home, Kion has gone to school. That's the only time that we have to work on what it is that we're working on. So we Zoom. You understand? Yeah. So she's like, maybe she goes downstairs. Oh, she actually spends, you spend more time downstairs than I do. So I spend more time because my workstation is in our bedroom. The so TV I, downstairs is bigger. And the TV downstairs is bigger. So wow. she's downstairs doing her thing. I'm upstairs doing my thing. When it's time and um, it's time to pick him up, she's like, it's, it's your turn today. Then I go and get him. <laughs> so that that window is when we now, you know. But Have then because time. of how much time we spend on different projects and not seeing each other enough, the time that we now get to, to be around each other, we hold on to it. So I think that's where what your eventual partner does for a living would come into play. You are going to spend a bit more time out of the house regardless anyway, because you're going to be on different projects, you know, either the ones that you're producing or the ones you're featuring. Mm -hmm. You'll be out and about. So your partner now has to figure it out. Bo -ba -ba, you will have to adapt. But I, want, I also want to mm -hmm. mention that there is a possibility that you haven't found your person. Mm. So that one deal because once yeah, yeah, because Delta man. <laughs> He, he's just a Delta Shots, man. man. Shots, man. Shots. <laughs> I'm from Delta too, but this, this man. Mm. So you said something. So mm. maybe that's facts. Maybe, you know, when you find a person, you would not want to be away from mm. them. You just want to, you know, I, I guess that's... You are lying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too much. Like, Maybe this was a good. Well, yes, thing. this was a good combination. Yes, yes, yes uh -huh. you did a good job, producer. Thank you, well thank done. you very well much. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you're right. Maybe because because for me, look, it's it's a problem for me. Like I I just want to, how do I put it? I just want to be in my own space. I mm. just want to either work or just sit down and watch TV and watch what I want to watch and just entertain myself and by myself to, yes. with myself. Mm. Like it, no, mm, calm down, calm down. Like I, we were not thinking what you were to, thinking. He is doing his face. That he was what, 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 I talk what to myself I a lot. I react to things a lot, and I'm just very goofy by myself. And I just want to, I want the space to do that mm. by myself, mm -hmm. right? Most of the time. So I'm in my comfort zone, and then yeah, sometimes I get bored, and I want somebody else to come to my my personal space. And when I allow that, after a while, it's just like okay, so <sighs> this was <funny>. it was nice. <laughs> when are you leaving? <laughs> So you have something no, else so to when do. I say you've not found your person, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've not found your person as per someone you would love and not want to, to let, go of. let go of. Mm -hmm. It's also, you've not found a person that is also the same as you. Or understands mm -hmm. you. That understands you, that yeah. also wants their personal space and be like, okay, you know what? Go, do you. go do you. I'll do me. Then when it's time, we'll now come back and just and talk. Because it would, trust me, it will get to a point you will want to see that person. All the time. All the time. It will definitely get to a point that you will life will life you. I will want the person to be. You by will your want, side. you will miss that person so much that you whatever you want to tell the person, that whatever you want to tell anybody, that's the first person you want to tell it to. So let me tell you a quick story. Um, when we started dating, right, we see each other, you know, twice a week at work, then we'll do lunch, then we'll probably hang out and then she'll go home. She had his, she lived with her parents until we got married. So she had his wow. strict, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> my mom wanted me to do that. However, Koba. but look at you, a mad woman. <laughs> However, Monty Jade sister, a long time ago, <laughs> my mom would be so impressed. <laughs> Mommy, I can still do this. But you know, it's, 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 too, it's too late, late for late. you. <laughs> Sorry, you have tasted freedom. Oh, for yes, fruit. But you said, why would you why would you go out into the world and be paying bills when you can just you could just have been I didn't choose it. It just happened. Mm. It chose you. It chose yeah. you. It was bestowed upon you. Yeah, I just it just okay. happened. Like, oh wow, this is life. Wow. I take it. I didn't plan it. That's why I see him. I say, okay, I can't pay rent. I can't survive. Chicken. 
I can as well go back to my mom's house. My room is still there. Ah. But. But as you said, you have tasted freedom. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. So <laughs> going back. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I get, I get, maybe I want to get to the point where, you know, I miss that person and I want that person around all the time. But for now, mm. I mean, I can imagine it. Mm. But for now, it's not just there yet. Like it's not. And that's fine. And that's one thing that bothers me about, about taking that step. That's mm. exactly that. That person is constantly in your life. Whatever it is you're doing is revo- it has to revolve around that person. That person always has to come first in whatever mm. it is that you do. Because don't forget, you also <clears throat> come first in whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, but me as I'm a mad person now. Sometimes I just can, can I go acceptance. take my car out and drive and just drive into the sunset without telling anybody anything. Oh you man, get- that part it that part does it does take a little getting used to. Yeah, yeah it does. Like, it does. I I feel you. So I'm. It, it kind of feels like I'm struggling to breathe when I'm when when because. I mean, as much as I like, and it's not because person part. is breathtaking. Sorry, is it? <laughs> wow. it's not just because. Person. <laughs> uh, wow. oh, how do you? Hello, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry. How I'm do sorry. you? You see, you know. the same way he tolerates my goofiness, I'm tolerating this. <laughs> so it's like it's like okay. So I know for a fact that I mean, I've dated people before. As much as I want to be single and everything, this life is you have yeah. to. You, Nobody you, wants to be seventy and alone. Drake said that exactly. So yeah. it kind of feels like I'm. Choking mm. when I always have to. Oh yeah, so I'm going to be here. We're going to be like, oh, why didn't you tell me that you were? I'm just like, okay, I, I understand it. I get it. I understand. But at the same time, the 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 other side of me is like, Ugh. okay. So you see this this part. Let me give you an example. Mm-hmm. I was the type who never communicated where I was and where I, how long I'll be there. Or when mm. he made me start mm. doing that because he'd be like, it's essential. I mean, I worry about you. Like, you've not yeah. told me. Have, have you gotten to where you're yeah, going? Are you safe? Are you safe? You have. And I'm that person. I'm the person that be like, "What's up? Let me know where you. You know where oh, you." But did, then did, when, did, is, did, when is reversed? Oh. Like, okay, you're choking my life. Mm. You have to compromise. Guy, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you because I'm, I'm, I used to be that guy. I'll check in and everything, but it's just like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like tired. I said, you've not found your person. Okay, so how did you come up with this? idea of it's time to get married oh like what tell me the scenario <laughs> and how how many weeks or days or moments uh-huh. i need to know okay so you know earlier i was going to, I, was, I said i was going to i wanted to tell you guys a little yes. story um when i mentioned the fact that she she lived with her parents until we got married mm-hmm. yeah so that's our origin story by the way oh, she- so, you know, so basically yeah we had been dating for a few for like a couple of months at the time and we used to see each other twice at work, twice a week at work um, on average. And then we'll do lunch and then we'll hang out until it was time. 7 p.m. later, she's like, if she's not working, if she's not shooting, 7 p.m., you always want to wait to her father's house. She's always been like that. So normally 7 p.m., she's like, I got to go. You know, if we're at my place, I walk out to the door, have a little nice hug and, cu- and cuddle and kiss, get to the gate, she, or get, sorry, get to the car, do the same. Style. You understand? Do the same. She gets into the car, she'll leave. So I went to shoot up north in Bochi. So I was in Bochi for three weeks. And in that entire time, I didn't see her once. That was the first time in months that I didn't see her at least so, two or three times. No routine. Yeah. So the routine had been broken. And that was the first time it occurred to me that this person had entered. She, she was under my skin. She don't enter. She yeah. don't get me. And I didn't enjoy it one bit. So the first few days I was like, yeah. Back in Belgium, I hadn't been in Belgium in years, you know. I was having a great time eating suya, eating balongu. I was having a great time. And then like three days after, into it, I'm just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Something is off. Like, <laughs> my diet is incomplete. It's not complete, my brother. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Then he hit me. I wasn't seeing this girl. I was like, ah, you bro. Ah, they don't. Ah, you bro. You're falling. You entered it. Yeah, you don't enter. And at this time, okay, no, long story. Anyway, so we do the three weeks. And then everybody starts teasing me because people now, first of all, Uche Odo noticed that I was a bit. So Uche is like, hey, emotionally downcast. <laughs> Perplexed. She's like, you're rough one now. And then one day I just told her, I was like, mm, you know, I'd... no, she, she was sitting behind me on the bus when we were going to one of the locations and I was talking to her on the phone and then I got her phone and I hung up and I sighed. She now said, oh, so this is what I've been doing you since. Because she asked me earlier that day, I was like, no, I'm good. She's like, ah, Ibro, she now told the person's name in the show. They switched, came outside the same show. Like, what's going on now? I said, eh, she said, because they all knew, you but know. We were still coded. We were still coded, but, you know, the people that were there on the project kind of knew that she and I were dating. 
Then I told her, she was like, ah, they have finally gotten you. So I finished up north. I came back to Lagos. Um, she picked me up at the airport, took me home, hung out for a bit. Then she was leaving. I then got to my door and I hugged her. Normally it's a, you know, 10 seconds type of thing. But this one was... Oh, but in our day, I think on the say, ah, you know, brother, like, okay, this <laughs> one is long, <laughs> And, but I didn't know, I didn't have the words, you know, to, yeah. I just held on to her. And then when I finally let go, she looked me, you know, she looked at me like, okay, what's the, um, I just told her there, I said, you know, this, I'm not doing this dating thing with you. It's, I'm not interested. So from, let's just plan, let's talk about how much time we need to, to sort out a couple of things because I want, let's, let's just marry. That was so that was the informal proposal. I just let her know that, look, I don't want to waste your time. I want to marry you. That was it. Like it was that time Dear that I spent husband. away. <laughs> and what was your reaction? <laughs> <laughs> there were tears uh, in your eyes, bro. <laughs> 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 she had been there for a while and she was just relieved that I finally got in there. Oh. And most of the time, that's apparently that's the way it is. Yeah. They'll get there like ahead of you. I knew. Because, mm. you know, women and yeah. their intuitions, we can always mm -hmm. tell. Really? See, I'm serious. My darling, when you find you know. Know, you will know. You know. You will know. Why well, the ones oh, that usually slow? Goodbye. So why the ones who are usually slow, you they always know. know. So as they soon as I'm know. like, this guy is he's a good man. He's a God fearing man. I oh, geez, my God. Anyway, he's uh, whatever happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't spoil everything. Uh. He's a Don't good me. man. He's a God fearing man. I I watch the way he he the way he talks to people that are not related to him. Especially like a security guard, a a, a restaurant, um, a, waiter. a waiter. So I'm like, he's a good man and this is what I needed. I just told God, God, I found my husband. Yeah. Make it happen. And that I just and my I remember that my friends and I just kept praying. Adeswa and um, Ibuko, mm -hmm. always together. Three of us would just be praying about it because mm -hmm. we're praying for each other. And it happened for one and all. One and all. Yeah, all, yeah, all three of them. Ibuko, yeah, Ibuko, yeah, yeah. All three of them. Right? Yeah. yeah. They did. They did the same hey. thing for each other, and it worked for three. I of need them. to change my circle. <laughs> 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 ah. Hey, ah. And guess what? It also applies to us because I have what I call my band of brothers. There are 13 of us. You understand? We have a WhatsApp group and we hang out. Well, we used to hang out like once every month. Um, in fact, one of us is the person that owns this studio. Um, shout out Chuka. Um, he was here last season now. Yeah, Chuka was on. So I, okay. Who's Chuka? Chuka Ophili. Ophili. You know okay. Chuka Ophili now. Not Chuka Obi. <laughs> <laughs> because all people, all of us have done um, advertising and everything. We all know Chuka Obi. No, not Chuka Obi. That's true. We should get Chuka to come here. <laughs> Chuka is going to be scared. Is he here? Yay, my baby boy. Okay. Um, so it works. It actually works for us as well because on that group, right, when we got on the group, only one of us was married at the time. And this was 13 years ago. Yeah, about 13, 12 years ago. Only one of us was married at the time. And then we used to pray for each other, pray with each other, and just generally be there for each other. We used to hang out, play FIFA, do all of that. Like, we are just guys who had the same values, right? Now, only out of 13, only three are not married. Predominantly because those three no one's get married. <laughs> it's jokes, it's jokes. Calm down, calm down. Because I know they're going to watch this. So one in particular, I mean, I know it does not get married. The other two, it is because, you know, one or two things. But be every time one of us has met a woman that they felt like, okay, this is, and then there are challenges or they just don't see how it might work. We pray for each other. We're there for them. We, we're just, we just back them. them up and then it happens. So women, theirs is probably, we, ours is probably a bit more laid back. Women are more intense and intentional about it. But it also works for men as well. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So I looked at him with tears in my eyes and I said, well, welcome. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Like, you have rich here. You have rich here. Okay. Hmm. We don't do TT. <laughs> it shocked yeah. me. I'm not going to lie. It shocked me. So the Rah. other question you wanted to ask, how we decided we wanted to be parents. Yeah. Did you guys just like, you know, McQuaid and then the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> then McQuaid. <laughs> Uh, Ibro, I've missed period. We're here now. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys said from now henceforth. 
So what was it like? Was it intentional or did it just it just happen? So the so um we 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 got pregnant like doing our honeymoon. He said we. I, I hate these two people. I swear. That I hate both of you. Here. You people. I'm, I. <laughs> Are you pulling it? You know, you know, let's go outside and fight. <laughs> the right terminology for married couple. Yes, so, we. So, so when the pregnancy happened, mm-hmm. nonsense people. When y'all got when pregnant. Got pregnant um, so we got pregnant first time on our honeymoon and we didn't know. And we we're doing everything. We went on hikes, did all that. And then and she was just eating. You know, she's very um, adventurous, adventurous with her tummy. I'm not. So everywhere we went, you know, they said, oh, try this cuisine, try this. She was eating things. Oh, I stuck to, fa- to fast food, chicken, burger, fries. I don't, when I travel, I don't eat rubbish. You're the worst. I know. I'm boring when it comes to I'm traveling sure for food. That. You're also the worst. Yeah, I don't want to try any. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't come here for food. I came here for beach and breeze. Let's, yeah. let's chill. Anywho. Um, so we didn't know that we we're pregnant and we ate whatever. We, 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 we physically exerted ourselves as well. Wink. Um, and then we got back, got back to Nigeria. And then, you know, she was like, oh, we missed our period. But that wasn't the plan. The plan was to wait a year, you know, just have fun for a year. And then, so we're like excited and scared at the same time. But then when doctor, we did, she did a pee test, everything. Then we did the blood test pregnant. But then the doctor now noticed that there was no fetal heartbeat. So basically we lost that one. So she had to do an evacuation. evacuation. It was horrible. It was hell. Never want to, it's not the kind of thing you want to wish on anyone. Um, so after that, the doctor was like, you know, take your time, but you know, try again. This is actually a good time. After something like this happens, it's good to try again. Just so the womb is still fresh. You know, the womb is like, okay, so I've tried here. it. So move down again. Yeah. I did not want to do it again because every time we were about to, you know. Fankush. Uh-huh. <laughs> she would, <laughs> I would just have, because I was right outside the theater while they were doing the procedure. It was it was not funny. Oh, you know, you know. I said my own part. Did you say your own part in the previous episode? How what you were going through outside? I almost I break the view. I, last season. season. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I, I fought with the hospital attendants. I and never want to see you person. violent, as I, gentle as you are. My dear, mm, God has walked on me. I hope <laughs> Why did violent. you fight? I was, I swear. Because I could hear her screaming. Oh. So the, and it's still the, it, we'll just you guys off because we've we've just said the we just said our, our our viewers. I'll just you guys. Um, so. When she had healed and she was emotionally ready because what lost the pregnancy. It takes it. Yeah. Um, so she used to try and, you know, start stuff. And I'm like, oh, baby, you know, I want to make you hard. <laughs> 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 so I'm just like, mm, you know, because I was still scared because I was like, ah, if you get her pregnant again and something happens, it's on you again. Yeah, the reason why this thing happened to her, you, so in my mind, I wasn't trauma. there. The trauma. So one day I was just there playing FIFA. Oh, that's another thing. I haven't played FIFA in a while because there's no time because baby and wife and career. Anyway, moving on. <sighs> yeah. But, really. So now say don't give it to you. I'm not, like, yeah, direct, yeah, yeah, yeah. They will, they, they will, they'll be fine. All right. <laughs> so, oh my God. Please, please. Ah, forget. Calm down. What, another thing, please. You know the two different questions about what you're answering and why you decided to come forward. Yes. All right, thank you. Right. <laughs> so. Playing FIFA. Playing FIFA. And then she, you know, goes, she says she's going to, she's going to take a shower and go to bed. I was like, okay, cool. Play, and then she comes. So I hear her and then she's like, babe, mm, babe, mm, babe. I'm like, what? And then I turn around and she's wearing this really nice, almost nothing. <laughs> and then she just- I didn't know you had that side. So, but I don't even press pause. I I'm just- I'm doing music. <laughs> and I go, and that was when, you know, I knew that night I knew Virtue left me. <laughs> Um, guys, if you really want to hear every re- little detail. Yeah, season one, I think it was episode one. One. Yeah. Yes. Where we did the... <clears throat> anyway. Oh. <laughs> 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 ah. 